Here's a, another similar type of problem to the previous one, um, number 48 that is. So this is chapter 12, number 49 from McMurray's textbook. We've got this chemical reaction, this reaction rate data, and a few questions to answer. So what we want to do first of all in part A is find two experiments with where only one concentration is changing. Here uh, it looks like chlorine is remaining constant and in the experiments one and two, it looks like the NO2 might, NO2, I'm sorry, NO is doubling, okay? So if the NO goes up by two times, okay, what happens to the rate? The rate goes up by, well, I can do this in my head, four divided by one is four. It goes up by four times. The only way for that to occur is if this reaction is second order with respect to NO, because if you double the concentration, you're going to have that squaring effect. So it's going to be a four times increase in the reaction rate. Okay. Let's continue thinking about this here. So again, we want to find uh, two experiments where in this case, NO is remaining constant. Okay. Experiments 1 and 3, we have the concentration of NO remaining constant at 0.13 molar. And if we look carefully at experiments 1 and 3, we can see that the chlorine concentration is 0.1 and 0.2. That's an exact doubling. All right, so experiment 1 is 0.20. Experiment 3 is 0.10. Okay, and that's a uh, factor of 2. So chlorine, again, we're doubling it. What happens to the rate? Okay, we want to come over here and, and take a look at that. Um, experiment one, all right, carefully look at this. Experiment one has the higher concentration, okay? Experiment three has the lower concentration. So what we did was we did one over three. All right, so we want to take the rate of one and we want to divide the rate at three. Okay. And um, if you look carefully, the larger number is on the, on the top of this fraction and the lower number is on the denominator. Okay. So if you, you know, use your calculator, if you're not sure about this and you're, you get kind of confused, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But uh, this, this is going to be two. Okay, so that's two. So if the chlorine concentration rises by uh, two, the rate, um, it, 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 stay, it's, it, goes, it goes up by two times. That's only possible if this reaction is first order with respect to chlorine, okay? If you double the chlorine, it's just going to be, well, doubled. So now we can write the um, rate law for this chemical reaction. Rate is equal to K times NO squared times chlorine to the first power, okay? In part B, we are asked to figure out what K is. So we want to take this chemical equation here and solve for K, divide all of this stuff, both sides by that. So K is equal to rate, okay, divided by NO squared times chlorine. I'll leave off the one now because anything raised to the first power is just itself. And we go ahead and just plug in the data from the first experiment. I like to choose the first experiment. Okay, so we'll plug in these values here. The rate is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 2. And that has units of molarity per second. Okay. Down below, we've got NO, which is 0 0.13 molar. Okay. And we square that whole thing. And we multiply that by 0 0.20, okay, molarity, okay. Off to the side here, let's think about the units. 
On top, we have molarity per second. Um, on the bottom, we have 1 over uh, molarity squared. And over here, we have 1 over molarity. Okay, So these two cancel, but everything else stays there. The units here are going to be um, molarity to the minus 2 times seconds to the minus 1. On our calculator, let's do this. I get a value of 2.96. Okay. Um, let's round this off to three. I'm, I'm sorry, two sig figs. So it would be 3.0. Okay. Times 10 to the. No, just 3.0. Sorry. Okay. So that's our rate constant. Now for C. It's asking us what is the rate when this is equal to that is equal to that. Okay. So. What they're asking us to do is go back to a full circle here. So basically come back to our rate equation. Okay, times NO squared. Okay, times chlorine to the first power. Okay, and plug in everything we know about this. So here's the uh, K. NO, they're telling us is 0 0.12. Squared, don't forget the squared. Chlorine is 0 0.12 molar as well. And what we get is 3 times 0 0.12 times 0 0.12, 0 0.0432. And the units there for rate are always molarity per second. Okay, rate is always molarity per second. I'll write that back up here too. All right, so that's the answer to part C. So I hope this helps you think through these problems. Thank you for watching.